guys, it's Tarko Cyclone FPV. You can see Jeff Campbell right there in the background. Say what's up, Jeff. Hello. Uh, so today what we're gonna do is uh, do a real, real quick video on, uh, let me zoom in this camera here real quick. So we're gonna do a quick video on setting up LEDs. And this is gonna be a kind of a brief, basic video on how to set up your LEDs. And so if I can get this camera set up properly, bear with me a second, and there's my ugly mug now. All right, so we're gonna be working on the uh, Exodus M220 V1. And on the top here are the HDLRC um, forward uh, F50 amp uh, ESCs, and on the bottom are the uh, LEDs that we're gonna be configuring. And so, um, let me try to prop this up here so we can get it done. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a basic uh, configuration. We're gonna do it with Betaflight. So I've got the uh, screen here, and I'm going to share these two like this. So we're gonna get into Betaflight and kind of go through it real quick. And hopefully this will help you guys. Uh, and then the more advanced LED setups we can do later, but right now it's gonna be basic stuff, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, log into my Betaflight or connect into my Betaflight. Now I've gotta reset this quad a little bit. There's a couple things here. I don't even know what the version of the firmware is on it. Uh, this is an old firmware version. So I guess what we'll do real quick is we'll go ahead and do a uh, update of the Omnibus um, uh, firmware on here. So let me get to that real quick. <clears throat> Let me just close beta flight down and get it back up. All right, <clears throat> so I'm gonna flash this real quick. And uh, we'll go to flash. Wait for this to populate. All right, and we're just gonna go to 3.5.7, load the firmware, and then we will go ahead and flash it real quick. So we're gonna be configuring, uh, and we'll assign a switch to this uh, the switch I'm going to assign is going to come off of my QX7. It's not going to be the switch I use uh, at the end of the day, but for right now, just to show you guys how to assign the switch and make it work, uh, we'll go that route. Uh, so let me get that. All right, the firmware's flashing. Then I've got to get to setting this up. And we'll calibrate the ESCs, but that'll be for something else. Uh, so we are using the uh, Titan stack on here as well, which is a 60 amp all in one ESC. Uh, and uh, we've got... Um, uh, I believe that's what we're using. No, that's not what we're using. Uh, the board wise is going to be the uh, Omnibus F4, F4 board from HDLRC. We're using their PDB. That's what I meant. So we've got, we're using the HDLRC PDB that, that has the option for the four LEDs, which you can see on the uh, arms here. All right, so we flash now. So we're going to go ahead and connect into Betaflight. And uh, I'm not going to worry about how the quad is set right now. Um, one of the things we want to do first is we're going to go to our configuration. Again, this is just going to be for LEDs. I'll do the rest of the setup later. So we want to find our LED strip option here, which is going to be right here. And we're going to select that. And as soon as we do, we're going to see this option pop up on the left for LED strip. Make sure to save it. So we're going to click save. Okay, now um, what we're going to do next is go back into our LEDs now, which is going to be our LED setup here, right? So here's the screen. Let me see if I can maximize this and not cause it to freeze. All right. So here's the screen that we have from the beginning. And this is basically a layout of how you'd want to lay out your LEDs. In this case, with the setup that HDLRC has, these are all uh, linked together, right? So they're not independent of each other. So whatever pattern you put on one, you put on the other. So in this case, if they weren't, you could basically draw this out. Whoops, let me go one, two, uh, sorry. We'd go to the wire ordering here, click your wire ordering, and then you go one, two, three, and you would uh, basically, let me get rid of this one. Uh, let me clear it. And then you go here and here. And how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So you could do like that. I didn't center this properly, but uh, if I wanted to represent the arms like they were, then I would lay it out uh, like so, right? But because these are uh, uh, linked as one, um, and then we would just do the same thing. It's not like this, right? And this is how you would do it if you want to represent. You put, you can represent your LED lights by numbers in the pattern they are. Now for us, uh, let me clear it all and. Um, again, when you get to the LED strip page, you're going to get to right here. You want to go ahead and click wire order, uh, ordering mode. And we have uh, six LEDs, so I'm just going to go straight down and go uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means six, okay, because we start with zero. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to decide what we want it to do. So now we can do an LED function here, right? And you can do a function is none. You can do color. Uh, you can have it represent modes and orientation, whatever it may be. I'm going to do color. And I'm gonna do a Larson scanner, which is like that, um, where the light passes back and forth, and I'll give you an idea about that. So I'm gonna tie it to the Larson scanner, and I'm gonna go ahead, and what I should have done is selected them all, and 
uh, associated with the Larson scanner, and I'm going to give it a color of, let's say, uh, green, okay? So um, we're going to go ahead and do all of those. Let me get these done. Let me give it a function is going to be color, Larson scanner, and we're going to make them green, okay? So all these, now, if you want to, let me do clear selected real quick and clear all wiring and get back to the wiring mode. And we're gonna basically start again here. And let me clear all this. So we're gonna go back to our wiring mode just so I can show you how you do them all at one time. So you go one, there's zero, one, two, three, four, five. And then you're gonna make sure that you select the function as color. And then you can highlight them all if you want, like this. And you can tell it that you want color as the function. And you can tell it that you want the Larson scanner on and you can pick your color. And then you can click save. Okay, so uh, this will get your LED status saved, and then when you turn it on, you're going to automatically see that the lights are now going as a Larson scanner. Okay, now if you wanted to change that, um, you can easily uh, clear your selected, clear all the wiring, and we can just get rid of all of this. All right, and you can go back into your uh, mode. So here you are right here, right? So let's say, say we're starting from scratch. Go to wiring uh, order mode and go ahead one, two, three, four, five. All right, and then you can highlight them all. And we're gonna go ahead and tell it we want the LED function to be color, and we want it to use Larson scanner. And this time, let's just say we're gonna use blue. And we're gonna click save, okay? And now you can see that the colors turn blue, all right? So this is how you would associate this. And then, if you wanted to, and here's my, uh, I have not bound, I, I did bound the controller, but I did not set it up yet. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. <clears throat> Get past our warnings. And then <clears throat> what you would do is, I need to set up my ports here real quick, so let me just go ahead and do that. And click save. And then we will go log back in and we'll go set up our uh, SBUS real quick so that I can associate the switches with it. Again, this has not been set up yet, so let me just go knock this out real quick. Hopefully this will take with no issues. So let's make sure I'm on the right UART believe I am, but just to make sure, I'm going to go to my receiver. Okay, so I'm on the right UART, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign a um, uh, switch to control my LEDs. So let me just click so save, so I've got lost. this all done. All right. So now what we want to do is we're going to go to our modes, and we're going to find our LED right here, and we're going to flip a switch that we have assigned, okay? So that's going to be our LED, and you can see you've got all the rest of your modes here, but we want to do our LEDs, and we're going to say that when we're all the way at the end, so we could use a two-way switch if we wanted. Let me see if I, uh, yeah, I'm not going to use any of my two ways because I'm using them for something else, but let's just say we wanted this for right now. So I click save, okay, and that's our mode that's going to be set, and then you can see that when it's off, when I get to that mode, it's off. When I leave that mode, it's on. So I guess if you wanted to do it how most people like it like this, click save, it's off, and if you want to activate your LEDs, just get out of that. So that's how you're going to set your switch. And remember that if you're in your yellowed area, that means it's going to be off. And as soon as you get out of it, it's going to be on. All right? So that's how you set up your LEDs. Uh, that's a real quick way to set up your LEDs. Uh, and uh, let me get this out of here. And we'll go this route. Okay, so that's how you do it, you guys. You set up your LEDs. Make sure to go to your wiring mode. Label them. And remember that if you have six LEDs, it's going to start with zero and with five. Highlight them all. Change the mode to like color mode or whatever you want it to do. You can have it represent left and right turns. You can have it represent your throttle, your VTX channel, everything that you want. But this is real basic just to get it going. And then you go into your modes, assign your switch to it. And then when you're in that yellowed area, that means it's going to be off. And when you get out of that, it's going to light up. Hope that helps, guys. If you need anything else, hit me up at targetcyclonefpv.com and have some safe flights. See you. Bye.